Shortest intro in the whole entire world. Here it is, just like that. Welcome to the dev server, patch 1.81 with some other numbers. The, the patch is called the Valkyries, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'm, I'm done clicking through buttons for a little bit. Here is the helicopter, the American helicopter tech tree right now. 9.0 AH-1G, 9.7 UH-1B, 9.3 UH-1C, 9.7 AH-1F, 10.0 AH-1Z. I think that helicopter is still in use. Like it's not just in service with the military, it, it's still in service with the American military. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're, we're just gonna start off. We'll choose a crew, check it out, check out the modifications because one thing that we didn't have, oh my God, you're so pretty. Look at your little Gatling guns. One thing we didn't have at Gamescom is really too many modifications for these uh, helicopters, especially the American versions. Okay, so let's get these out of, because these are really, really, really distracting. Okay, 9.0. Oh, before we go any further, guys, please take these BRs and information with a grain of salt. Please, because things can change very, very easily. Okay, so with it fully loaded out, let's just, ooh, okay. I think I just see some default hydras. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, there's some more stuff here. There's, 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 there's some more stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. By default, we have two 7.62 millimeter machine guns, or I should just call them uh, mini guns. <laughs> Can we go test these out real quick? I really, I really hope these have that sound effect. Like the ones you hear in Blackhawks and such. I'm, I'm, I'm sure these, these might be, you know, a version like that. Okay, up we go. Woo! Oh man, guys, we have blade, fl blade flex. Okay, let's uh, press hover here. Okay, get off hover. And spooling. Oh man, that's, that's pretty good. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. Okay, first contact, we have a ZSU. Ooh, I, how much negative does this thing have? Let's see real quick. We are totally not coordinated. Now this this really isn't uh, a useful ability here because the ZSU would shoot me out of the sky, but like... Like, usually, like, sometimes when War Thunder adds, like, a new, especially a new sound effect or a new weapon system into the game, no, sure, Gat Gatling guns, we had the 163, etc. But, like, usually it's kind of underwhelming. These are just everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's happening right there? We have a low main rotor or something. Can't read that right now. Okay, so that is... This might be a long video uh, testing out all the weapon stuff, but yeah, that's what today is going to be. That's the fault with the AH-1G. Now let's upgrade it. We can do hydras, which are really, really, really cool. Wow. that I mean, hydras are amazing, especially on a, on a helicopter, just because you have more time on target. But let's, let's, let's do uh, this thing. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's MG? Okay, so you can do, wait. Hydra 70 times 40, Hydra 70 times 14. Okay, so, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness, guys. Okay, this is an extremely good setup right now. Four of the mini guns, just so you can blast your target. These don't move, but you can move them with the helicopter. These you can move with the um, gunning reticle. So you can blast your target with the, uh, Mini gun. Sorry, I'm just kind of a loss of words right now. And then you can devastate them with the hydras. 
And this is just the first helicopter too, which is just, I, I, I feel like we're in more for a treat. And with that said, we've got fucking grenade launchers. Let's just, let's just look at these stats real quick. I'm like breathing heavily right now. L luckily my uh, mic can kind of uh, douse it out. M168 cannon. M195 cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 20 millimeter modification, a Gatling or a minigun 20 millimeter. I, I actually, I, I, I don't think you would even call it a minigun anymore. Okay, so we have a new reticle for the grenades, I think. Or hang on, how do I use this here? Oh, no, no, they're, they're, oh, no, no, okay, it's, it's already default spinning here. We're gonna test these grenades out. Oh, no, 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 hang on, okay. When I click, there goes the 20 millimeter. And also, the grenades go too. Now, how do I fire one at... Okay, well, I'm sure this is the button. Okay, here we go. There's a grenade. Extremely good for open-top vehicles or like, you know, a ZSUs, the 57. And then we have the 20 millimeter that knocks the crap out of our chopper. And we have almost 400 plus of these. So the 40 millimeters have, whoa. Okay, I don't really know if this is correct, but uh, this is the dev server stats for those 40 millimeter uh, grenades. I don't know. It's 76 millimeter pen. Um, even at 30 degrees, this, this will be able to devastate top of vehicles. And then we have that 20 millimeter that should have roughly around 40. Uh, I can't really tell. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, this isn't even a minigun anymore. This is just a M195 cannon. That's insane. So that is the AH-1G. That is the first chopper. And then now we're on to the Huey, the UH-1B. And right from the start, we can see the Hydras on either side. Go into modifications, and then we'll... Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 we got some other things in here. We'll have a gun pot ability. And then it looks like new 7 millimeters to fit those gun pods. And then we have a M16... M5... Excuse me, M156 AGM. Okay, pretty tameable. Not the biggest explosive mass, but still extraordinarily big. Okay, so we'll load that up. That's six. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Ooh, I wonder if these will be a WASD. Okay, up we go. So no guns on this. No guns. Just the A or the air-to-ground missiles, as we're going to call them from now on. Even though they kind of feel like ATGMs. Okay. Okay, we're locking and we're gonna fire one. Okay, yep. Oh wow, these are some slow moving ones. You can so dodge one of these. Oh wow, sorry. Let me let me turn my uh, DPI down. Launching two. Oh, this the the swirl of death. Okay, and then let's go for, let's go ahead and balance out our VSI to about zero, which is perfect. Okay, launching, it's at one, but still. I'm oh, sorry. 
Just trying to test different things. Can it can it still get on target? Don't tell me, don't tell me. <laughs> These missiles are so slow. It was able to uh, uh, correct itself and get back on target. And third one for the kill. So it, it looks like it's going to take maybe about two shots to kill um, a proper tank. So you have the ability to get three kills with this weapon system. There we go. So slow moving. I, I wonder if they'll ever add the ability for uh, people to shoot down MGs or uh, excuse me, air to ground missiles from the sky. Okay. And then we have the MGs. And these are going to be the um, Gatling guns, the mini guns, the M134 that we had on the uh, Cobra. So that's the 9.7 Huey. Then we go on to a 9.3 Huey. Let's see what this one's about. This is the 9.3. It probably has, it probably doesn't have the ability to carry ATGMs. No, it does. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, this one can carry toes, which are much quicker. And probably doesn't give off that much smoke to alert or exhaust to alert people where you're at while firing the, uh, the air to ground missiles. Take the Hydra, take the uh, MG134s or the M134s, excuse me. I'll take the toes. Okay, yeah, this is the one that we kind of saw at Gamescom, the housing for the toes. And as you can see, just the difference of uh, airspeed these travel at, or meters a second. This one's almost 100 meters of, um, a second faster than the AGM-22. So much more effective. Don't know why it's at a different BR, but again, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, then we have, ooh, whoa, we have a Huey that's coined XM-30, and I wonder why. Ah, uh, there it is. We have twin 30 millimeter cannons with 600 rounds in each gun. Take off run one meter. Nice meme. Okay, what else can we put in here? Okay, so we can get rid of the 30 mils. We can put on, oh wait, hang on. Okay, so anything we change will do away with that modification. So let's just go ahead and put on the uh, twin 30s because this is a new weapon system we haven't tested out yet. Uh, let's see the performance on these. I can't tell, unfortunately. That length of the barrel is really not going to be that penetrable. But what it will do is a, a, a pretty significant um, splash damage. Yeah, it's pretty cool. If, if, if you press C while you're flying, you can pretty much use the... Um, the gunner. Oh, wow. That's a really cool gunner view. Let's line up on these guys then. And now we're out of the angle to shoot. We'll go and sw uh, swivel around. Now those, the, the Huey blades don't bend as much as the Cobras, that's for sure. We're out of arc, I think. Or are we out of ammo? Oh wow, I think we we're already out of ammo. No way we just shot 600 rounds. No cooldown on firing. Oh, wow. We don't have... No. These go quick. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a rotary cannon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, it does, it does have some really nice traverse. Okay, we're going to try again for the ZSU. See if, we, see if we have enough ammunition left. Wow. It just 
hole broken. I don't know. One round looked like a heat round. Did you guys see that? We'll try on this T62. <laughs> I don't know. No, okay. It was just from the uh, hole break mechanic. But look at that. A 30 millimeter took out a track. Ex ex Whoa! Yeah. Okay. Uh, no one saw that. Okay, carrying on. Okay, now the AH-1F, the one that we were playing at Gamescom. Let's see if anything has changed with this one. Oh, yeah. Things have definitely changed with this one. So look at this. So we can get the minigun, the MG-134. This is pretty much what we had at Gamescom, just these two loadouts, especially with that 20 millimeter in front. But now we can get lower quantity Hydras, two of the MG134s. We can get four toes, no Hydras. We can get eight tow missiles. And oh my goodness, look at this loadout, guys. Hang on, let's make sure this one's not better. Oh God. So you have 38 Hydras, which I, I guess you can use once your eight missiles are gone. But this system right here has the ability to kill, let's say four enemy tanks, like main battle tanks. And then if you're careful enough, this has the ability to kill, if you're not versing the York, eight anti-air. So that is uh, the new modification on the AH-1F. Now onto the last one, the Zulu. So with this helicopter, we only have one turbo fan or turbo, excuse me, excuse me, turbo prop that puts out 1800 horsepower, which is a ton. But now this one has two that put out, oh my goodness gracious. Are, the, are these the, no, granted these things could change, but these seem like they have it locked in with the, the engine model. And everything. <laughs> Max altitude 14,700 meters. Get out of here. And so this one's also armed with the uh, M197 20 millimeter. Default, it has eight tow missiles. But I don't think that's all we're going to. Okay, actually, no. I thought we might have seen hellfires so we can go with the m134 machine gun or mini gun we can go with the hydras but as we keep going down things get more and more lucrative so instead of using just the plain toe now we can use the toe two because this is the toe with four missiles and this is the toe two dash two with four missiles let's go ahead and check out the original toe so the original toe has 630 millimeters of pen. The toe two, which is right here, has, whoa! Here we go, we're off, and God, this is a sexy helicopter. It doesn't have the cleanest lines, but it's just, it's pretty much, it looks like the A-10 of helicopters so far. Okay, let's get into our view. Good optics. Let's go ahead and decrease our VSI. Right about there. Okay, launching one. Let's go ahead and hit like the most ridiculous angle on it. Oh, whoa, look at that, that effect right there. That was pretty neat. Missed shot, too low. Just in hover mode. Don't know how far away we are. Hang on, let's check. Three kilometers. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, make this uh, a little bit harder for us. Okay, into the thermal. Okay, here we go. Press F for respects. One on the way, four kilometers out. Good 
good trajectory. Okay, let's let's uh, let's go back a little further. Okay, we're fully balanced out. Let's go and rotate her around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 7.23 kilometer shot. I can still make it out with these things optics. It's ridiculous. Okay, turn DPI down. <laughs> On the way. Looks really good. Looks really, really good. A little low, but I'm not going to move it now. Oh. Try again. A little bit higher. It could have just ran out of fuel, honestly. We might be past like game. Oh! Oh gosh! The the, the game derenders it, but the missile still flies. I feel like we're gonna see something else in the very near future that will uh, give this give these um, helicopters more trouble than there already is for them in the game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Uh, peace. Peace.